Commander, we have located Captain Thule's attacker. The warrior beast that you drove into the Badlands has resurfaced, leading a swarm of lesser Tyranids. This is our first chance to strike back at the Tyranid enemy, and we cannot pass it up. Target the larger creatures to disrupt the swarm. That will buy us the time to get to our target. Captain Thule will have his vengeance. Be vigilant. Dear brothers, we go. Target acknowledged. Under attack. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no
Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. Enemy There is the beast! Destroy it! Plasma, clear that area!
plasma. Clear that area. Apothecary Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the Litany of Fury. With this information, we have devised a plan of attack against the Hive Fleet.
Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Left unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure gene sample will allow us to develop a poison to strike at the Hive Fleet. And you must secure access to Angel Forge on planet Meridian. Only this ancient forge's fast manufacturing capabilities will allow us to produce weapons with which to deliver our poison. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds. And a death sentence for our chapter. Commander, we need to take direct control of Angel Forge. I'm authorizing you to travel to Meridian. The planetary governor has been less than cooperative thus far, so be prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Angelos out. Meridian stands at the very heart of Subsector Aurelia. Billions call its cities home. Its factories and forges are keys to victory against the Tyranids. We must not allow Meridian to fall. Commander, welcome to Meridian Orbit. My name is Elena de Rosa. Governor Vandis has assigned me to be your liaison while in system. This is not the hinterlands of Calderas or Typhon, Commander, so a certain amount of discretion would be appreciated. It is imperative that we secure access to Angel Forge, Administrator de Rosa. Yes, so your Captain Angelos has said. Angel Forge is the most important manufacturing facility in the sector, however. Its use follows a strict schedule set by Governor Vandis and his Privy Council years in advance. Nevertheless, there may be a way to arrange special access to Angel Forge. Meridian has recently come under repeated attack from Eldar Raiders. They have already inflicted substantial damage to parts of our communication and supply infrastructure. The Imperial Guard forces stationed on Meridian are already tied down, suppressing food riots in the Lower City. They do not have the manpower to deal with the Eldar as well. Were you to employ your special expertise in such matters and repel these raids, Governor Vandis believes he could arrange limited access to Angel Forge. Eldar sightings will be transmitted to your planetary display. DeRosa, out. Commander, I left Meridian decades ago, but this is typical behavior. The nobility has always closed its eyes to problems in the Undercity. The Eldar must have raided wealthy spires for the noble houses to even acknowledge a problem. They will acknowledge it when the sky darkens with Tyranid spores and hive ships. On that subject, Commander, initial scans indicate no Tyranid activity whatsoever on Meridian. No activity at all. No mutated plants or slaughtered wildlife. No atmospheric changes. None that we can detect. Check your sensors again, Martellus. 
Hive fleets do not ignore worlds in their paths. 